Hi, Leanne Bridges here. I'm so happy you joined me for this video. Uh, happy, happy new year. I'm hoping I can help you with this short video to give you some tips on how to make 2022 the best uh, for you to really bring vitality, resilience to your work life and passion and help you to really step into your greatest potential in 2022. So in this short video, I'm going to talk about the nine reasons to reboot your work life. And please stay tuned till the end because I have a free gift for you. All right, let's just start with explaining who I am. If you don't know, I am uh, an author, an international speaker, and the founder of Designing Transformation. And Designing Transformation helps individuals, entrepreneurs, and leaders to really step into their greatest potential by transforming uh, from the inside out, if you will. And I once was in a place where many of you might be right now, where uh, literally a crossroads of my career and my work. I had been an entrepreneur for almost 10 years with a, a really successful consulting business. And um, the financial market of 2008 crashed and it really impacted my business. But at the same time, also was going through a massive personal challenge where my husband was diagnosed with cancer and eventually passed away. And I was left with two small kids to, to not only parent on my own, but also to be the, the solo breadwinner. And because of the experience that I had with losing my husband, also was on a journey of self-discovery and wanted to make the most out of my life after seeing him um, short his life shortened way too quickly. So trying to put all that in the mix, I had to figure out how was I going to redesign my life. And what I did is I went back to my roots, which was around helping organizations figure out their vision, their mission, their path uh, through and how they could impact at the greatest level. And I started using some of that on my own work and trying to figure out how I could figure out what my thrive zone was, where I would be at the greatest, um, my unique contribution to the world could be expressed. And through that, I created a, a process. I call it my six-step process to help people step-by-step step, uh, move from where they are to where they want to go. And so today, my life has changed dramatically, even to the point where I'm even grateful for the challenges that I went through. And um, I, you know, I have a, a, a really prosperous job work, I wake up excited in the morning to get to work, and I'm approaching 2022 feeling really excited. And I want you to feel the same way. So if you're looking at starting the week, the first week of the new year, feeling a little bit blah, blah maybe even uh, not a little bit worried about getting back into the swing of things. Well, I'm here to, to help you. I want to outline the, the nine reasons for you to really um, think about and take the steps required to reboot your work life. And I'm also going to give you some, some helpful hints and, and some ways to really guide you through that. So this video is just going to outline some of those reasons to give you that extra oomph to, to do that. So if you would like to, to be like me, where I have work that I love, it's creative, and I'm feeling great about it, and give me a sense of meaning, um, let, let's you know continue on. I want to give you some of those reasons that might be really relevant for you. So so of the nine reasons to think about rebooting your work life in 2022, the first one is to really bring more passion, uh, ignition, flame, excitement to your career, whether it's your job or whether you have a business. We Some along the way, we might have felt that way at one point, but it's kind of like got to be ma. And so that vitality is so important for your health, for your innovation in your work, for you to be perform at your highest level. The number two reason why a lot of people that come to me that want to reboot their work life is uh, they want to feel more free. They want to feel that they can work how they want, more authentically, uh, where they want, when they want, and wherever they want on the planet. So can you imagine um, eventually now, especially after COVID two years and remote working, we can work anywhere. But people don't really know how to put all that together. So don't let that stop you. Put that intention out that you'd like more freedom and I will help you to get there. 
The other thing is number three reason to reboot your work life is to attract more abundance. So many people, even people making a lot of money, are living um, month to month, paycheck to paycheck, uh, client gig to client gig, whatever that might be. And that often as a reflection can be some of a mindset around money, but it also can be around maybe some disalignment with your greater potential. And so that you're working really hard paddling upstream because you're not totally aligned with your gifts, your talents, your expertise, your passion, and your purpose. All right. So that's number three. Number four is a lot of people are searching for more meaning in their work. And Often they get stopped because they think, I don't know what it is, but deep down they do know. They just have to separate it from all their doubts and fears and what I call the, the, um, the, the, the kind of limiting beliefs that stop them from really being successful. And so living that deeper calling and trying to figure that out, it doesn't have to be something massive, you know, like so many people think it's this big calling like Gandhi that changes the whole world as opposed to something very gentle, which they're more called to, something to be and to really live simply. So whatever on that scale meaning is to you, it's, it's super essential that you live with a deeper meaning. So that's, that's a reason if you don't have that to reboot your work life in 2022. The other reason, uh, number five, why so many people come to me and ask how to help them with their rebooting is that they wanna express their true strengths their talents and gifts and their creativity in a greater way. And they're finding maybe in their job, they're just asked to do one little thing and only, or one thing that only focuses on one area that their subject matter expert is. And, and they're not called to really be creative. And a lot, what I find is the vast majority of people that I work with are not expressing their creativity. So that's impacting their innovation and their work, their business and so forth. And a lot of people don't even think they are creative. And every, if we're human, we are creative. That's part of our innate DNA. And it's just that we don't really understand what our unique creativity is. So that's important to be able to tap into in 2022 so that you can express those strengths and talents in your unique way because no one else can do it like you. And so number six to a reason to really reboot your work life in 2022 is to gain more balance. So you may love what you're doing. You may have gained a lot of abundance, but you may find that you're, so much of your day and your week and your month and even your year is taken up by your work. And you don't have that balance in being able to bring more focus onto your health and wellness, into your relationships, into your home, into leisure, maybe traveling, doing some things that you'd like to do as well. So that could be a great intention for 2022 and being able to work through that. So stay tuned to the end. I'll, I'll give you some, some tips on how to do some, how to actually realize some of these uh, in 2022. But before I do that, I want to give you the last few reasons to reboot your work life. So uh, number seven is to either launch or grow a business or a side gig that may become a business that you eventually may want to replace the job that you're in. I have been an entrepreneur for going on 23 years now, and it has provided me with such um, amazing opportunities in my life, like freedom that I would have never had, um, sovereignty over my life, over my income, and being able to connect, being able to express myself in ways that I could have never done working in a nine to five job. So, so many people dream of that. And um, again, I've helped people over the last 23 years making that happen for themselves. Like I said before, either solo entrepreneurs all the way to Fortune 500 companies. So if that's something you're thinking about, let's make sure that happens this year. Okay, and then number uh, eight reason to reboot your work life in 2022 is to maybe up-level your professional life. So maybe you're in a job and you'd like to get to the next level, you're a director wanting to get VP, your manager wanting to get to director. It's, you know, what are the things that you need to do? How, it's all about you becoming that which you want to achieve before you actually achieve it. And so there's very distinct um, process to do that. Maybe you want to expand your knowledge and become more generalist and, and, and get more uh, experience in different functions and where you're at. Or maybe you'd like to tap into areas of creativity that you have before, but, you know, become a writer or, or um, 
a musician or whatever that might be that would actually not only uh, fulfill you, but maybe something that could be coupled together with your work or your business that would make it more successful. So that idea of up-leveling your professional life. And number nine in um, the reasons to reboot your work life in 2022 is to, instead of thinking about retirement, is to refire your retirement. And so whether you're you know, a few years out from retirement, you're just starting or you're well into it, it's really important to realize that our health and wellness and our longevity is dependent on how we retire or refire. If we just stop working and never do anything else again and don't stay connected, it's going to impact us. But when we are actually bringing prosperity in a continual way, connecting and having a sense of meaning in a way that's free and authentic to us, we actually, there's studies that show we will live longer and healthier and be more resilient to some of the challenges that we're facing. So there's so many great reasons to think about pushing that restart button on your computer, if you will, or on your work or your path to really transform your work into your passion in 2022, whether it's to ignite a career passion, to get more freedom, to uh, generate more abundance, to find that more deeper calling and meaning, to express your talents and creativity in your own unique way, to rebalance your work, to launch your, uh, a business business or a side gig to uplevel your professional life or to refire your retirement. It's really, um, there's so many amazing benefits if you really want to make that commitment and take those steps. But so often we don't really know how to do that, right? We kind of say, you know, well, okay, I make that commitment. It's, you know, the beginning of January. By the end of January, I've already kind of fallen off the wagon, if you will. And we get stuck because we don't know how to do it. We don't know where to start. Uh, we don't know what's possible for ourselves. And I find that often people then literally stop themselves. And then by the end of December, and they're kind of back where they were at the beginning of the year. And so think about where you want to be in December 31st, 2022. And what is it you want to have expressed, experienced, become created? And so that's where you want to start. And then from there, it's about how you do that. And a lot of people find that, I'm not sure. And what I've found is so many people will spend so, so much money, time, trying to figure it out on their own. And that's why, um, you know, I actually have developed something for you. This is the free gift that I wanted to offer you is a seven day challenge, which where I take you through my six steps, my unique method that I've used to help people for over a decade now to transform their work into their passion, to do all the things that I mentioned in that those nine reasons. But what I'd like to do for free as we start the year is to um, bring those to you in more detail. And so lay it all out for you, those six steps in a seven day challenge starting uh, January 13th, going to the 19th. And um, what I'm gonna do is I, I have a link here with all the information. I'm gonna be providing more videos over the next few days. You can get some more detail of it, but you can, you can start right now. If you wanna go to that website and sign up and join our Facebook group, we'll be, um, we'll be active. The idea is as soon as you say yes, then the changes happen. So you might say, oh, I'll wait a few days uh, because it's not starting to the 13th. But what I've found over and over, one of the key success factors is that I found so when people say yes and they make an attempt, anything, signing up for something, whatever, they're telling the universe, they're telling themselves, they're telling their subconscious, I'm serious about this. So I recommend that you go to the link below, sign up, uh, I'll be sending you out an email to get to the Facebook group, get on there, start to have the conversation. In a week from now, we'll be starting the course and you'll be well on your way. You'll be feeling already that you're making a difference to um, really make that shift in your life and your career. And if you have any questions in the meantime, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd really love to make this year a phenomenal phenomenal year for you because I believe when you can make a shift in your life that not only do you transform your the lives of yourself your family but you create a ripple effect out into your community and beyond and when we all do that imagine what's possible for the world look forward to seeing you in that seven day challenge and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful 2022 
And thanks so much for listening. Namaste.